Hi Cancer, welcome back to my channel, Karma Fox. I am doing your weekly reading for November. I hope you guys are all doing well. I am gonna take a quick second here to remind everyone that this is a general reading. It may not resonate with every Cancer sign out there, so if it's not resonating, guys, you can check your other signs and placements, see if your messages could be in those readings. Also keep in mind that the energies can reverse or flip-flop, so if it is resonating, get in where you fit in. And as always, Cancer, please don't force yourself into a reading that is just not for you. Spirit, can I have the energy of the sign of Cancer? Cancer. Cancer. All right, Cancer, you're starting out with the Page of Pentacles. You have Justice. And you have the Four Swords. So I can see uh, that you're kind of taking a break here. I see a lot of you are bringing balance into your life using uh, meditation or some kind of meditative technique. With the Page of Pentacles, some of you could be experiencing a bump in your pay, which is always welcome, right? Um, I do feel like you, you're receiving karmic justice though, and it's coming through the form of some sort of an offer. Um, it could be communication but it's bringing in this karmic justice. It's bringing in balance in a situation, and you may not have seen this coming as well. So let me see who is in your energy. It's almost this, this manifesting energy I'm seeing in your, your energy here. Show me who's in Cancer's energy. Ten of Cups. The Strength card. And the Knight of Cups in the reverse. So the person who's in your energy is seeing you as as being their happiness. They're very happy here. Um, I do feel like for some of you, this is somebody who is seeing you and they, they're envisioning themselves having a family with you. Um, there is a very strong pull that this person has towards you. Um, I do feel like this is a very um, upright person, a very just person. Um, I am seeing this the energy of a Leo for some of you. With the Knight of Cups here in reverse, this person um, may be holding back a little bit though. It's almost like they have this daydreaming energy and they're kind of thinking about what life would be like with you, but they have this strong pull. So let's see the energy between you and this person. Show me the energy between Cancer and this person. The Ten of Pentacles in the reverse. So you've e each of you have experienced some kind of loss. Now, this could be financial loss or, you know, for somebody out there, um, somebody's family doesn't approve of this connection. Yeah, so somebody is, is receiving um, advice from family that's not very helpful. Um, both of you have experienced loss, though. Both of you have gone through a loss. Um, there could have been an ending between the two of you. So let me see what's affecting this connection. Or there just could be money that's tight as well. Yeah, Eight of Pentacles. So what's affecting the connection is looking at the details of this, trying to work things out. If, the, if this was an ending between the two of you, um, there's an effort here to work things out, to look at the details, to bring balance into it. If this is um, a financial loss, and it could be because I can see that your money's not exactly where you want it to be, um, you're both working very hard. So let me see your outcome at the end of the week. Show me the outcome. Seven of Cups, having options. Yeah, having options, but there's there's a lot of confusion here too. All right, so bottom of the deck is temperance. This is underlying energy. You could be dealing with a Sagittarius, but you don't have to be. Um, as an underlying energy, this, this does tell me that you're being divinely protected here and that balance is going to be restored in any situation. So let me clarify. Spirit wants this page of pentacles here for Cancer. Why is the page of pentacles here for Cancer? The Emperor, 
Okay, all right, and the Ten of Pentacles reversed. So look, guys, some of you may have started your own business or you may be a, a, a manager, a high-level manager. There's something here that with you that um, people listen to you. People, uh, you're in charge of things. You're used to calling the shots, basically. Now, it is in the upright, which means you've taken control of your life and you're in a position of stature, a position of um, authority, but financially, things are not going the in the way that you want them to. Um, I do see that for some of you out there. Now, for others of you, there has been a there has been an ending here, and I do see you definitely um, in this position where you have increased your energy. Like I said, there's a manifesting energy going on. Let me see why justice is here for you. You could be dealing with an Aries. Yeah, Ten of Wands and the Five of Wands. Some of you may be in a legal battle, and that's cost a lot of money. Yeah, there's been problems. Of, um, there's been conflict and problems here. It's bringing about change, but justice is on your side. So I do feel that some of you might be going through some sort of a legal struggle. And it, it's involving a lot of conflict here. It's problematic. It's leaving you feeling overwhelmed. It's it's uh, There's conflicts that are making you feel burdened and overwhelmed. Like you don't even know what direction to move in. Just know that you have good karma and that you are being protected here. Let me see why the Four of Swords is here. For some of you, this is a work type of relationship. There's a, a work... There's something to do with work that is involved in this. Which is odd because, you know, we're we're doing a love reading, but uh, there's something about money and work coming out. All right, judgment. We have the two of wands. We have the hangman in reverse. And we have the six of swords reverse. All right, so you you've pulled back. If this is work related, there you've pulled back. You're trying to figure things out. You're feeling overwhelmed and burdened. Now you it could be also in a relationship as well. Um, it could be that you've had a lot of conflict with this person. This could be somebody from your past. So just take it as it resonates. But what I'm seeing here is there is going to be balance restored. Karma is on your side. I do see that you you really pulling back and you're you're taking a break. You're resting here, Cancer, and it's allowing you to see things differently. It's allowing you to look at this differently. It's a situation that you have felt stuck in. There's chaos here. There's a lot of negativity here. And you're you're pulled back and you're keeping things to yourself and you're making plans. You're making plans to rebirth yourself or if this is about a connection you could be making plans to reconcile but I see you first taking a break you're dealing with a lot of negativity and it's about loss it's about loss of finances or loss of this uh, a loss of a, a long-term connection but I and it could be even be with family it's just uh, it doesn't look like it's love related for a lot of you but it, it could be I do see you Pull back, taking an assessment of things, pulling yourself out of the negativity that you've been stuck in, and really trying to gain clarity. And you're, it's going to be successful. And from that position, you are then going to choose a direction to move in. It's a judgment call for you. Now, keep in mind, you are being protected in whatever this situation is. Let me look at, let me see who's in your energy. Show me why the Ten of Cups is here for the person in. Now, it's also possible that you're, you're going through something and somebody that's in your energy here is watching you go through this too. I, it's difficult. This is a, an unusual reading for Cancer. 
All right, so we have the Queen of Cups and we have the Four of Swords in the reverse. So this person is definitely very focused on you. Whoever this is, is extremely focused on you and they see you as being their happiness. They daydream about you. Um, they, this is somebody that if you're of childbearing age, they wanna have um, children with you. They wanna have a family with you regardless. And I do feel like this person has gone through some difficulties themselves and they're gonna tell you about this as well. Um, I feel like this is somebody who is trying to give you guidance in this situation. Let me, cause they've gone through something that has caused a lot of loss for them too. Um, why is the strength card here? Why is the strength card? You could be dealing with another water sign, Pisces, Scorpio, or another Cancer. All right, we have the Hierophant reversed, Taurus. We have the Death card reversed, and that is Scorpio energy. So if you have had an ending with this person, I do feel like it's not over. It's not over, um, This part, at least from their viewpoint. And I do feel like um, there's an opportunity here to work things out. This person has very strong feelings for you. Very strong feelings. Um, if they have gone through another ending, there could be unresolved issues um, in another ending. I'm seeing that for somebody. And that's a problem. It's causing problems in your relationship. It's causing, it would likely be that they might be going through something legal in that case, like a divorce or, um, you know, something to do with an ending. And it's not resolved yet. But just know that if that's the case, this person does have strong feelings towards you. But it could be causing a lot of problems in your connection. Show me why the Knight of Cups is in reverse. Why is the Knight of Cups in reverse for Cancer's person? All right, the Four of Cups reversed. And the Nine of Coins reversed. Again, I'm getting this indication that there's some sort of financial difficulty here. Um, this is somebody who is holding back and they're holding back because they're a bit insecure. They've learned from the past. They've learned something from the past, something about um, codependency or about um, loss. So this part, this is somebody who sees that there is a lot, an ability to have a lot of love in this connection, but at the same time, they've, they're a little, they're holding back because of something from the past. Yeah, this is a very unusual reading for cancer. Um, this is somebody who's gone through uh, some losses financially or with connection with relationship, and they learned lessons from that. And they're wanting to bring those lessons forward. So they're kind of holding back a little bit. Um, let me see the energy between the two of you. Why is the Ten of Pentacles in reverse between cancer and this person? Five of Pentacles, again, that's lost. And the Seven of Wands. So it, it could be your family doesn't approve of this person. They may feel that this person doesn't have the finances to, you know, really give to you what they think you deserve. But you would disagree. I think you would disagree with that. And I feel like if you're, you're receiving advice from family members or close friends, that you're you're not listening. You're you're very defensive, and I feel like you're going to stand your ground with regard to this person. This is somebody who's definitely experienced loss, and it looks like it's possible that it's financial loss. Um, I, I can tell you now that if there's financial loss between the two of you or family, uh, I'm sorry, if there's a family or close friend that's trying to give you advice, you don't, it, it would be on your side and you don't really fully, you don't believe what they're saying. This person that's in your energy really does daydream about you. They, and I feel like this is somebody who has experienced loss, either financial or with relationship. They're highly focused on you and they see you as their happiness. 
If there's been an ending between you and this person, for those of you that you're on that timeline, that storyline, this person um, has felt abandoned. They've felt left out in the cold since this ending, but you're defensive. You're defensive about why this ended. I do feel like you, there's communication. Um, let me see why the Eight of Pentacles is here. Page of Cups. Yeah, and the Seven of Pentacles. So you're willing to work this out. You're willing to invest in the connection. You're willing to work this out. It There could be a legal thing going on about a child for some of you. Either way, I feel like this person definitely has loving feelings towards you. If there's been a an ending, so for those of you that there was an ending in this connection between you and this person, you will likely get an apology from that person. I see that that's going to go a long way. You've been very patient, and I do feel that you you will work this out with this person. Um, for somebody, though, there's there's an ending, and it's likely on their side. And there's unfinished business. It could involve a child and legalities. It's caused arguments and problems in your connection. Again, it's going to work out. Regardless of what this is, it's going to work out. You're going to work this out with this person. And I feel like you're being very patient here, Cancer. So I, I really feel like you're dealing with somebody that you're making a judgment call and you're, you've prayed about this or you've meditated over this and you're receiving enlightenment. Just know that you are being guided here. You're being protected. You're being guided. And I really feel like regardless of the situation, you're going to work this out. Let me, let me look at your outcome. And I think I'm getting so many storylines because each of you are with, you know, different people or types of people. Because it's a lot more fractured on their side. Show me the outcome for cancer in this person. We have the Eight of Wands. We have the Two of Coins reversed. We have the Chariot in reverse. All right, so I do see that there's going to be a lot of confusion here because there's different options available. And it's a matter of trying to figure out, weighing up the pros and cons as to what is the best course of action to take. And I feel like you and this person are going to be deciding this together. Um, you're feeling kind of stuck in this situation. There's a judgment call here that has to be made. You're, you're trying to, to find an enlightened way to do this. Um, and I feel like you're, you're feeling kind of stuck in the situation. Just know that it will be worked out and you're being guided here. Um, in their energy, there's going to be a lot of communication. There could even be travel involved um, for this person. But it's a matter of weighing up the pros and cons and figuring out, you know, what is the best option to take. Because I can tell you right now that this person does not want to release this connection. This person sees you as being their happiness. They're very much devoted to you. I can see that. But there's something in their life that is from the past. It's from their past, from something that is over, that is affecting your relationship. And it's causing a lot of confusion. It's causing a lot of conflict between you and this person. But I feel like, and I feel like you feel kind of stuck with the situation, but it's going to work out. And it's going to work out because you're being divinely guided here. And in fact, you're integral to this in some manner. So balance will come to the situation, but not by the end of the week. There's still going to be a lot of confusion and imbalance by the end of the week. This person's going to be either traveling or communicating quite a bit. And I don't see you traveling. So this person may be traveling on their own um, because you're, you're kind of a little bit in this stuck energy. But it is going to, it's going to resolve, just not by the end of the week. 
This could have to do with a, a child and legal issues even. And I try not to go there, um, you know, because I'm definitely not a, a legal person. But I feel like the issue is more or less on this person's side, not on yours. All right, bottom of the deck is the Queen of Wands in the reverse. This is underlying energy. Aries, Leo, Sagittarian en uh, energy here. But it's it's a non-action. I It's a card of non-action. It's a card of... Um, not having to do anything. It's like, you know, spirit's going to work this out in a way that is to your advantage because you've got the justice card here. Justice is coming towards you. You're protected here. So whatever these conflicts are, whatever these problems are, it's going to work out in a way that you're not going to have to really do anything, but it you're protected and you're you're being guided. So, it's, a, it's an unusual reading. I, I can't remember having a cancer reading like this. All right. So, it may only apply to a few of you. All right. It's like an almost personal reading here. So, I'm going to pull an oracle. Any oracles that come out for cancer? Guidance for cancer? Yeah, meeting someone new, dating, getting back out there, or plan or set a date. Okay, so it's about a date. And and when I'm reading this, it's because I looked at it, I'm like, that's that doesn't seem applicable. But it's about a date. Not not a date like dating somebody, but there's a date. Setting a date. Yeah, something about setting a date, a time. It's about setting a time, guys. So there could be like an important court date coming up. I don't know. You guys can leave a comment and let me know. I hope this hasn't been all over the place and that it, it's resonated with somebody because I've never seen a cancer reading like this. I'm going to be honest with you. All right. In any event, I do hope that for whoever this was for, it's been helpful and reach the right ears. And if you have resonated with it, hit that like button. Be sure to subscribe. And until I see you guys in your next reading, namaste.